Hello YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial I'm going to be doing on Dota 2. Um, I've played this for quite a long time. Um, uh, I played a lot in Warcraft 3, uh, Dota 1. And so today's first video will be on Tinker. Uh, Tinker is probably one of my most favorite heroes. Um, I really, really like this hero because um, he's so useful. He can basically be anywhere he wants at any time for the most part. And he's just an awesome hero. Alright, so, to get started with Tinker. Um, generally, I wouldn't pick him unless I see about two heroes that are kind of low HP. In this case, we actually do have that. Um, it may be three or four. I, I mean, most of these are pretty low HP, but these two are especially squishy. Um, I usually start off with a bottle, and I ask someone to ward for me. Um, unfortunately, it looks like they increased the bottle, so we can't do that anymore. Um, let's see. So, I, I guess our best bet would be probably to hold off on that. Um, I'm actually going to get the bottle right away. And then I usually use the courier to, um, to get stuff to me. That's do most people. And then I request mid. I like starting off with, um... Uh, I go between heat seeking missile and laser, but I almost always up heat seeking missile first. Um, that's a good way to um, to basically go ganking. This guy is an amazing hyper ganker. Um, really, really good. Just make sure of a couple things. One, you make sure you get your wards. Unfortunately, we have no wards at all. Um, but I am in a bot game, so. I mean, if you're in the if you're in the right team makeup, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to have wards and whatnot. Um, but eh, it looks like we're gonna have to buy it this time. And that jerk stored the stole the DD. So um, yeah, I'm basically gonna be going through the uh, the early game, um, and then I'll cut it, go to the mid game, and then I'll um, cut it again, and then we'll see the late game on how to play this guy. So to get started, you're going to want to just kind of sit back uh, and deny as much as you can and whatnot. But um, you're you're more than likely not going to um, get a last hit or deny. Um, when you hit about level 3, you're going to want to start harassing him with missiles as well as going between, um, going between your, um, your runes. Alright? Um, runes spawn every 2 minutes, so be sure you're checking them. You can always just like kind of like poke the hero um, if he's getting a little too too cocky whatnot make him step back a little bit see but don't don't step like that too close because then um, then you'll bring the creeps to you you don't want that oh sometimes you do there we go all right so we got our bottle um, in two in one minute we'll have access to our rune so let's get ready for that um, at about level th three you can also roam Especially if you get an invis. If you get um, if you get kind of a lesser um, ruin, it's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Um, and if you kind of miss like too many ganks, your overall effectiveness will drop throughout the entire game. Oh, we're level three, so that's when we start ha harassing with missiles. Um, if you don't kill them, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about actually killing them. Just worry about just getting them out of lane. That's what's important. Um, getting them out of lane does so much damage as well, even if you don't kill them. And since we have a bottle, we can kind of spend our mana. In this case, I'm going to actually wait to level 4 because we might be able to combo him down. So we'll get, we'll get ready for that. Alright. Get his HP just a little bit lower. Okay, he's in kill range. So always, when in kill range, go laser first, preferably. See, there we go. Got our first blood. And let's put our um, our courier back where it's supposed to be. All right, so we got first blood. Let's um, let's head up and see if we can get a rune. Oh, haste. Yes. See, this is ideal. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just get a little closer. Let's see. Oh, Juggernauts was nearly dead. So let's go see if we can intercept him. Alright. He should be right over here. There he is. 
And this guy's probably not going to die, but we're going to um, just kind of either send him back. Okay, he's being retarded, but most um, most people would not just kind of wander around like that. And by now, um, we probably already have more um, people coming our way, so it's not ideal to stay around this long, but you can do it. There we go, see? Killing spray. All right, so this is how usually your um, your early game would go early on if um, if you're facing kind of like people that don't really know what they're doing or how to deal with Tinker. Um, more often than not, people should probably start building um, some things to either get them more HP and watch their HP and whatnot, because um, this is a really dangerous time for them. Because uh, I pretty much have free roam now. Um, I'm, I'm I vastly at level most people now, and I've got some pretty high potency nukes. So, like in this case, we're low on mana. So, um, uh, but the ruin was coming, so we were able to to kind of do that. Alright, so it looks... Uh, that's kind of a dangerous combo to fight. Um, so you're going you're gonna to want to um, watch out for those combos right there. Uh, preferably have someone go in and stun or have them like start off, but you're never going to want to engage them that close to the, the tower. That's extremely dangerous. And um, always kind of keep track of your mana, because your my combo currently costs 305 um, mana. If you don't have that, you don't want to, um, you don't want to try to combo them down, because <laughs> it's not going to work. All right, and also whenever you get a rune, you can always pop one bottle charge right away. All right, so in this case, we're going to be able to kill Viper, especially since he's one of their carries, so it's ideal. Watch this. Okay, so basically we're going to pop this, and right there I failed. Um, I, I was just too slow with it. Uh, so, I mean, yes, that, that can fail once in a while, but um, it's not the end of the world. You just sent back one of their carries. It's It went all right. All right, so from here, now we're basically going to try to build up money for Boots of Travel. That's our next, that's our next goal. Uh, it's probably one of the more important important ones um if if you have a different style some people like to like to not go this and whatnot and rather go push early on i'd kind of advise against it um it just uh you put so many people at a disadvantage on their team if you manage to get an early kill that um this build is kind of more ideal i think personally uh that and it, it really sets you up for boots of travel um, mid game. Like, see, we already have 1900. Um, we don't need anything else at the moment. And whenever you're rune hunting, try to avoid being in sight of the mid dude. So, like, uh, he doesn't see you passing from top to bottom because then he'll probably know that you might not have gotten the rune. So he'll start heading to bottom and might beat you. Okay, here we go. We got a haste again. Okay. So, unfortunately, they're not that low, but thankfully they have a Skeleton King. So that means they can stun. Now, I'm going to do something rather risky. I'm going to go in the back way. Thankfully, um, my teammates are extremely responsive. So, um, we're able to get that. Now, we're not going to be able to kill her, and now Viper's after us, so we're going to want to get out of here ASAP. But, um... That, that went pretty well, honestly. At, it, at this point, um, we're probably wanna go, gonna want to go get our boots of travel. So let's see. Oh, not quite there yet. So, But we are really close, which counts. It, it really counts. I probably would have been better off um, going top. But um, hey, we got one bottom, so it's all good. All right, so moving on. Um... Next, what we're going to want to do is get our boots of travel, and then after that, um, I I would advise not to not to get um, March of the Machines um, really too soon, because um, it's just uh, it's good to have rearm for your boots of travel. He lets you um, he lets you rearm all your items as well as all your abilities, and you'll see why it's so powerful in a bit. 
All right, so let's go kind of clear this out. Ah, oh, you know what? Hmm. Eh, we won't be able to kill him unless we kind of um, get his HP a little lower. So we're gonna we're gonna poke him a few times and see what we can do about killing him. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, he's heading top. Oh, good, GG. All right, so good. Um, unfortunately, I didn't use a laser, which would have um, brought my mana lower, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna go kill this guy. Uh, but we're not going to touch him for six seconds. We don't want to risk losing our mana. Um, what I'm doing, me passing him like that was a terrible idea. Do not do that. But I'm in a bot game, so these bots aren't really all that smart. All right, let's head top. Since Viper's missing, um, we're gonna we're gonna head top and try for a gank. If we run into him part way through, um, that'll be okay. He'll he'll die. He he won't survive. Well, there's Warlock. I don't think he saw us either. Let's see if we can get him. If we run into two people, we should be alright. Um, hopefully he doesn't have his ult. Because, like, four people are bottom at the moment. Yeah, four people are bottom. Let's head bottom. Uh, they need our help now. Okay, let's not go past that. All right, so we're going to head bottom, and um, hopefully they kind of overextend. And Skeleton King should be back right now. There's a few people down there. Oh, uh, there goes DG. I keep missing him. Come here, buddy. So yeah, at this point, you're going to want to transfer into late game mode. All right, let's see if we can bait him out. Can I get by this tower? There we go. Alright, so we're going to head top, and then we're going to get ready for our, our gank. So, we're going to buy our Boots Travel now, because we don't want to hold on to too much money for too long. And Boots of Travel, if, if we died with that much money, that would kind of be devastating. Alright, so let's get ready for this. Well, it looks like they died. So maybe we can get Viper from over here. Oh, there we go. And that provides a blind as well, so keep that in mind. Um, so if Viper even hit us, it probably would have missed. Now we might be able to get VS. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go around here, and hopefully we'll have it in time of the engagement, our, our missiles. Okay, yeah, we died. That That's an unfortunate thing, but um, it, it was a risk we were going to take. Um, unfortunately, it didn't pay off. But we're, um, we can now become a traveling pain. Total traveling pain in the ass. Alright, so, um, yeah. Uh, next, we're going to want to get rearm, and preferably a couple levels in March of the Machines, but, um, but rearm is what's going to kind of let us basically be anywhere. So let's get ready for that. Oh, we didn't get our boots. Let's get that. All right, that that would have been ideal. All right, so let's see. Now we're actually going to kind of keep an eye on where the enemies are. So and see where there's a lot of creeps so we can get our levels. So here there's going to be some creeps soon. So now we're just going to kind of push our lanes. We're not going to worry about ganking. Um, we just want to get our our last couple of levels so we can um, so we can start traveling around and multi push and then help the team out wherever. All right, so we're going to get rearm now, um, so we're able to rearm our boots. All right, there we go. Good. And we could actually port in there and help if we needed to. Uh, my bots seem to be a little insane right now, but uh, they're doing all right. I mean, we are 14 and 2. All right, so um, just waiting on March of the Machines, and then we can um, start doing our next phase of the thing. All right. Let's take down this tower. Unfortunately, all are missing, so keep that in mind. So we're actually going to go bottom, because we're too far extended. And um, and all are missing. 
So you want to keep that in mind. Always pay attention to the um, to the map. If you're not um, if you're not paying attention to the map, you're doing something wrong. So we're gonna actually refresh this. All right. And since I'm with Luna, I'll be all right. Um, oh, in fact, watch this. We can get something from this. Maybe. Nah, it's, it's looking like we're not going to be able to. Because uh, Warlock, if he wanted to, he could ult me. And VS then would stun me, swap me, and I would die. So we're not going to do that. But um, we are going to defend it. Like, we're fairly safe here. We should be alright. So long as I didn't get swapped or stunned by a, a Warlock ult. There we go. And we're almost level 10. Perfect. There goes the tower. All right. All right. So almost level ten. And then we can start our um, our roaming. Well, it, it's a different type of roaming. We're not going to be ganking in this case, but um, we're instead going to be doing something a little different, which is pretty awesome. All right. So we're just going to harass him with that. See, there there goes the the warlock ult. There we go, got a kill from that. And good. See if we can get um, a kill out of that. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we're going to head back. So if you ever want to port back to base, just double click your boots um, with whatever you have it bound to. That'll, um, that'll just use it um, on your home base. So keep that in mind. Alright, now, now um, this is the second phase of the game. This is our um, our traveling phase. Generally, I kind of stay aloof from the team. Um, I let them do their own thing, and then I try to keep pressure um, everywhere. And this goes on for most of the game until we have like rather large team fights. But more often than not, I'm on my own um, this entire time. Um, I like to go soul ring next. Um, this helps like this. I can do that, and then. Um, Oh, I, what I'll actually do is I'll come here, do the same thing. Always keep an eye on um, on where um, if they're missing, because if they're all missing, in this case, I'm going to want to actually hide before I start trying to port out. More often than not, I've been um, I've had someone come up on me and gank me, so um, and that's not fun. All right, so let's do that and that, and I've also um. Also on that point of um, getting ganked, it's sometimes a good idea if like if they seem to be coming after you quite often, uh, is to get a, a blink dagger. That's really good. Helps you um helps you get into the forest. You can do all your rearm stuff there, or whatever you need to do, and then you can get out from there. All right, so let's see. Um, do that, that, and then we'll go. Um, try your best not to keep a pattern of warping in as much as possible. I know it's kind of hard to not do, but um, it's it's ideal because the enemies will actually start to see that um, that you there is a pattern to where you're porting in. Uh, in this case, we're gonna have to hurry over and help um, this guy. So let's do that. Let's see if we can get this. Alright, so good. And she's going to die. There's there's no way she can live through that. Good. Alright, so got that. Good. Perfect. And that's, that's actually what you want to do. Do not steal from your carry. Do not steal kills from your carry. Um, you're not going to carry the game. No matter how much you how how much you're doing in the game, late game you're just gonna destroy the team if um, if you're taking all the kills. Now, if you're on your own, obviously do it. Just kill them. Or if it looks like your friend's about to die, don't don't like hold off. Um, don't don't risk losing your teammate because of um, because you want to try to feed them. I've had a few friends that did that. That um, that when I was carried, they they held off on trying to to kill the mob or the um, the hero, and I ended up dying because of it. <laughs> it's it's not a fun time. All 
All right. Now, in this case, um, since we're not really getting ganked, I actually usually go Dagon at this point. Um, I like Dagon because it allows me to burst down heroes, like extremely important heroes. So, like, if they're carry, um, if they, they have a carry, uh, easily, you can easily burst them down and they have no chance. All right, so we're going to blind him. Good. All right, we can get this. Yep. We're so far ahead, it doesn't really matter. All right, and I should be able to catch him. Should be able to. Not guaranteeing it. Got him. All right, good. And then you're going to want to max out March of the Machines now. Uh, you don't want to level rearm um, until, like, you absolutely have to, really. Uh, well, I mean, at one point you, you will be able to handle the mana, but early on it's not ideal. Alright, heading back to base. And um, let's get our Dagon. So, it's a good idea to kind of keep a semi-organized fashion on how you put your items. Um, make the most important items right up here and then these are like really after battle things so I usually keep those near the bottom so that they don't kinda so I can't really accidentally fumble them because I, I need them after the battle alright so here we go there we go see I'm not supposed to do that but since it's a bot game it doesn't really matter but so yeah there we go All right, so we're going to be finding these guys now. Good. All right. So that went well. I unfortunately used my boots of travel on accident, but that's okay. Now the game's pretty much over. As you progress through the game, um, you can decide, hey, do you need a, do you need to keep continuing Dagon? Um, if you want to keep split pushing, I would advise a Manta style. I like Manta styles for split pushing because you can you can port. Summon your clones, do your march to the machines, and actually send your clones clones down the line while you're safely getting out. If you find a Dagon is not enough to get rid of a hero um, that's extremely powerful, go Scythe of Vice. That's advised. Um, if you also want further pushing, Shiva's is a really ideal um, item. Uh, Yule's is good for um, for taking an enemy out of the, the match as well, so you can do that. Um, but other than that, like, at this point in the game, it's pretty much over. Um, and I mean, if you snowball enough like this, yeah, um, games will end fairly quickly because you're pushing every lane, essentially. Like, see, they're they're up there pushing, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push the bottom lane. And then we'll go push the middle lane. And if you find your... Um, you're not really doing much during the fights, definitely, by all means, just keep split pushing. That's that's what's going to do things. And if you find you're losing team fights also, don't go into a team fight. Split push. That's what's going to keep you in the game longer, and it's going to allow your carry to get farmed, hopefully. Uh, that might give you a chance in a, um, in a game that seems otherwise hopeless. I've actually pulled games um, where, uh, since the team excels at team fights, my split pushing would actually um, cause them to crumble. I would um, advise uh, maybe at least 10 or 15 games with this kind of um, build because um, it, it takes a bit for you to kind of dissect when which item is ideal and when it's not ideal um, or and how you should um, be reacting to the other team at times. So you got to keep that in mind. Like there, I just fumbled my um, my item list because of that. And I, I, I might have lost a kill because of that. All right. And yeah, the, so the game's over, essentially. Let's see if we what we can do here. There we go.
Perfect. All right, so we managed to get some kills out of that, too. Sweet. All right, in this case, I, this is when I really start leveling rearm. Um, I am pretty low on mana, though, so it's not ideal. Um, but I also haven't spent any of my money because, frankly, the game's over. But um, I gave you the item list um, on what you should kind of be going for. Um, if there's a lot of magic casters and you can't seem to stay alive, Black King Bar. But other than that, like um, your core items really are like um, these right here. And then you kind of branch off with um, how the game's kind of progressing. So I hope this was an informative video. If you liked the video, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, uh, let the ads run because that'll help me continue making videos on YouTube. So I hope you all liked the video and I'll see you all later.